Real networking is not about being fake. It's not about being transactional or using people or forcing yourself to have random conversations with people you don't actually care about. On the contrary, real networking is about Hey, I'm Sharla, AKA The Working Writer. I'm a comedian, screenwriter, and host of The Working Writer Podcast. I'm also the creator of The Working Writer School, an online course and community that teaches screenwriters and creatives how to build a life and career they love. Right now, when you sign up for the Get That Work newsletter, you'll get my Get Repped mini course for free. It's 20 minutes long, and in it, I teach you what reps do and how to find the right one for you. Sign up for the newsletter below and I'll send the course right to your inbox. Now let's jump in today's topic, networking. If you're like most creatives, then just the thought of networking probably fills you with dread. Maybe that word summons images of stuffy networking events filled with slimy people who are willing to step on the necks of any poor schmucks who dare get in the way of their dreams. But in decentralized industries like film and television or publishing or creative freelancing, networking serves a crucial function. Think about it, there's no human resources in Hollywood. For the most part, there's no job board listing open screenwriting, producing, or directing jobs. So if you want to work, employers literally need to know who you are, what you do, and what you want. Otherwise, it's impossible to connect you with the right opportunity. Also, when you make the leap to the freelance creative side, you're essentially on your own. There's no built-in community created for you that you can just tap into for support whenever you need it like there is at a traditional nine to five job. There's no daily routine that allows you to go into the same office every day, build relationships with the same people, bounce ideas off each other at the water cooler, or even just someone there to let you vent when you're stressed. But we still need that community to thrive both personally and professionally as creatives. So what does this all mean? It means that as freelance writers and creatives, the onus is on us to create that community for ourselves. And since it's up to us to create and maintain our own networks, it's important that we do it with intention. Real networking is not about being fake. It's not about being transactional or using people or forcing yourself to have random conversations with people you don't actually care about. On the contrary, real networking is about reciprocity and mutual benefit. It's about making genuine connections with people you actually like. It's about letting your guard down and letting people know who you are, what you do, and what you want. And in turn, learning about who others are, what they do, and what they want. Remember, when you network, you're not trying to collect people. You're trying to build a community that invests in each other's well-being and livelihoods as artists and as human beings. The network of people you surround yourself with, the people who collectively make up your artist community will be your cheerleaders, your mentors, They'll be your first readers, your collaborators. They can recommend you for jobs or even potentially hire you. Now, we've all heard that getting ahead is all about who you know. We've seen lots of examples of nepotism in pop culture where the rich and famous get ahead by giving close friends and family unearned positions and opportunities. And yes, that is the reality for some people. But for the rest of us, we still have to get in the door with good old fashioned hard work. That's why I think saying that it's all about who you know is dangerous and counterproductive thinking for the vast majority of us. The truth is, if you just focus on knowing people, you may actually get an opportunity only to find that you're not prepared for the opportunity when you get it. If you just focus on knowing someone, you might find that you actually get hired only to get fired when it's revealed that your work is actually not good enough or that your qualifications are not up to snuff. Because a huge part of networking is what you actually bring to the table as a creative. If you want to network with intention and attract the right people into your community, your first focus should not be who you know. Instead, you should be focusing on getting good at what you do. Cal Newport talks about this in his book, So Good They Can't Ignore You, a title that was inspired by Steve Martin's book, born standing up. In the book, Cal says the way to get the career you want is to focus on getting extremely good at what you do. When you do that, you build up what Cal calls career capital that you can then exchange for better hours, better pay, and more autonomy. I think career capital is especially useful when networking in creative industries like film and television, because a big part of networking as a writer is sharing your work. Whether it's just putting your sample script up on your website or submitting it to various outlets like the Blacklist, film festivals, or script writing competitions. When you do this along with being physically present at network 
networking events, and just generally taking the initiative to meet people, you're allowing your work to speak for you. You're showing the larger community of artists that you're serious and that you've got skin in the game. This will allow you to build a reputation and maybe even an audience. Without this, it's nearly impossible to find collaborators, employers, recommenders, and even friends in the industry. If after all this, networking still sounds like the scariest thing in the world, then you should ask yourself if what you're actually struggling with is not networking, but simply being seen. Maybe you're afraid that you won't belong or that you'll be rejected. And these are valid fears. But frankly, if you wanna be a working screenwriter or creative, the fear of rejection is simply not enough of a reason to hide yourself from the very industry you claim to wanna to be a part of. We're all nervous and awkward and fearful. I was very nervous to get in front of a camera and start a YouTube channel because I'm not 12 years old. But I think an important part of the creative path is embracing being seen with all the fear and discomfort that it may bring. By not facing your fears, you're holding yourself back from meeting friends, from possible jobs, and even worse, from reaching your potential as a creative. Networking is nothing to be afraid of. On the contrary, it's a necessary part of being a working creative. That's all I got for now. Until next time, get out there, get to work.